Good morning everybody from Disney Springs. It's been a while since we've been here to just walk around and take a look in the stores and check out all the goodness. And that's what we're gonna do today. We've got some pretty dramatic music happening as we enter into the springs. Are the Avengers gonna land over here? We're in the end game now. Mary's giving spoilers out, but we're gonna bypass that. I didn't know you were chasing. That's why I was uh, never. You just can't even say it out loud. You can't even think the spoilers. Ah. Disney Springs has all of these flags out here for Endgame. I want that for the guest room. It's very quiet in the morning here. This is beautiful. Let's see what's going on at Star Wars Galactic Outpost. Looks like we've got a lot of the same old, same old that we've seen for a while. Some items left over from Solo. A lot of Kira's. If you're looking for a Kira figure, they've got your hookup. This Porg that I think is left over from two movies ago. They have a cool long sleeve shirt. I thought it was a spirit sweater, but it's not. It's pretty bitchin' beach towel. This thing is huge. And that's what she said. Boba Fett camp shirt, 60 bucks. Yikes. No. They have this Disney toy box. Falcon with Han and Chewie. This is 80 bucks. I think you can get this at a regular Disney store if you have one by your mall. They have a Parks exclusive BB-8 remote control. It's 55 bucks. And these Boba Fett gauntlets, kind of like playset dress up. They shoot the little things there. I don't know what to properly call them. Mary with the save. They're discs. <laughs> it's 30 bucks. This is really cool. These are 50 bucks. It's kind of a dress, I guess. Yeah, it's a dress. It's got a hood. I like it. And they have this shirt, Rebel, and on the other side. Same thing, ta-da. Very cool though, 45 bucks. It's kind of a stretchy material. And they've got newer backpacks from Lounge Fly. I got the Star Wars or Yoda. And this one's been around for a bit. Yoda is 75 bucks. So is Star Wars. Star Wars. There's R2-D2 sweatpants like on the model. And these run 40 bucks. And this crop jacket, 55 bucks. Well that does it for Star Wars stuff. It's hard to imagine that there's still yet another gigantic blockbuster to come this year from Disney as the Rise of Skywalker will be coming out soon enough in December and a whole new line of merchandise to support it. Although it's interesting, Mark Campbell tweeted something yesterday that continues the divisiveness among Star Wars fans. We'll insert that here for you. And now we're onto the Marvel store to see what's going on there. It's Marvel Superhero Headquarters. They have the bag that Mary uses all the time. Yeah, this is mine. 65. 65 here. They have a Groot book. You can write inside of Groot for $18. It's little Groot. It's shoulder Groot. Show us how shoulder Groot works. He's oh. gonna slide right off. <laughs> it's like lost on the ground, Groot. <laughs> they have Rocket here too. 26 bucks. They have the cheaper end toys here too. It's six inch guys. Those are like five inch, I guess. I like that shirt. Just random characters on a shirt. They have a very small Stormbreaker. Iron Man's Repulsor Gloves. I like these a lot. The Black Panther Gloves. Lots of Captain Marvel stuff. There's not a lot of new stuff that we've seen since the last time that we were here. There's some Hero Magic Bands, but there is a brand new Endgame Magic Band in the parks. I don't know if they have it out in Disney Springs. Got more flags out here by the food trucks. Of note, I believe this was the jewelry store to the left of Splitsville. Now it's just like an amazing pictures place. So you could take themed pictures, like Once Upon a Time. I don't even know, is, is that show even still on TV? The show is not on TV anymore, right? Or you could be in Rapunzel's heart for some reason. They have the Avengers Endgame premiere wall still up from the other day. You could take a picture in front of this. This is really cool. They've really done it up. Right across from the movie theater is Jaleo from Jose Andres. I haven't seen anyone really go here except for the folks that went for free when they were giving out food to the bloggers and theme park people. Coming up on the new NBA place, formerly Disney Quest. Looks like it's pretty far along now. Again, here's the rendering for NBA experience and what it's looking like. And then you also have City Works, which is now winter 2019. 
which is kind of going to be inside or to the side or within the side of NBA experience. Yeah, kind of just on the corner. I think it's formerly like where the gift shop used to be for Disney Quest. Cirque du Soleil is still down over here, being refreshed for a new show. I don't know how well it's going to come out in the video, but you can see within the metal panels, they actually have like stippling. Mary so eloquently says, I don't know if those will light up eventually. I'm really looking forward to NBA experience. Orlando Magic eliminated from the playoff run for this year. You can hear them hard at work in there. Stop by the Coca-Cola store quick. If you ever want any type of Coca-Cola stuff, this is the place to come. Unless, of course, you're in Atlanta, Georgia, then that's the place to go. Coca-Cola, Tervis, metal, 40 bucks. Or you can get plastic. 21, 22. Everyone's going metal these days, though. And we've had Tervises for so many years, I'm not sure if you guys have the same problem, but ours get condensation in the middle now. We don't put them in the dishwasher. I just think that they like crack somewhere in the inside. There you go. We always like stuff in here. The funny thing is I'm the only one in the house that really drinks Coke or Diet Coke. Oh, you can get little bottles. Little glass Coke bottles for earrings. Whoa! She got the Fanta hat. They need an orange high C hat. That's what they need. <laughs> they have Orlando tank tops, etc. The one thing that you don't have in the store here, at least yet, is that Star Wars Celebration, they gave away freebie shirts to those that attended the Galaxy's Edge panel because of the new products that will be in Galaxy's Edge with Oribesh writing from Star Wars. So they gave away t-shirts with the Coca-Cola logo in Oribesh, which one of you were kind enough to send to me. I'll have to insert that here. Name with home as per request. Coming up on Chicken Guy, they were recently in the news because of skimming on their credit card machines. Across from Chicken Guy is Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill. This is new. Passing Johnson and Murphy and Lucky and Sugar Boo and everything but water. Vera Bradley, all stores that we never shop in. We do go to Sperry's every so often. Uh, I might wear those, but there's really nothing my style here. People still twirling. The springs mechanism. Check it out at Lacoste. They have some Keith Haring polo shirts. That's awesome. We passed Super Dry. We didn't even look in. I can't afford to spend more money there. Under Armour's over here. There's a whole bunch of new Rock merchandise or Rock branded Under Armour. I like these. I like these a lot. But they're 80 bucks. New Rock hats. Huh? Huh? 35 bucks? How about that one? Rock material, short sleeve sweatshirt, 55 bucks. I like that one. Sweats, muscle shirt, tank top, rock headphones. And more rock, 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 rock. It's like a collaboration of Stance and Under Armour together. I like this a lot. A lot. I like it. I like it a lot. A jacket. More rock, rock, rock. Rock underwear. I'm gonna take a quick dip into Unique Glow. See what type of Disney stuff they have now. This place reminds me of the way Old Navy used to look. One of my big knocks here in the past has been that they never had like double X. And now they say that they have them, but you actually have to go on the website. Spider-Man! I would buy that shirt if I was a kid. Mickey Blue. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. Those are pretty cool. Very beach-like. Look at his Mickey eyes. Looks like Pac-Man. Cause I'm Mickey, the mouse. And they have a variety of Mickey teas, seven dollars ninety cents. Mickey art graphic teas, fifteen bucks. Whoa! I freaking love that shirt. <laughs> Holy cow! Once again, the largest size they have is extra large, which I can fit into now. But I kind of look sausagey. They have all these Gundam shirts too. The 40th anniversary. Check that out. You can do it, Amuro. Very cool. We stopped by BB Wolf's to see if they had the Infinity Gauntlet zippers in stock because they were selling them yesterday. They don't. They're sold out. But we got frozen sweet tea. What will they think of next? Wow, it's awesome. While we're here, we're gonna get some T-Rex. 
like we haven't been here in a long time. So, I can be honest, I don't remember a single thing about this place. Oh! He wants some of your frozen sweet tea. Most impressive. By the way, that stuff is amazing, by the way. It was like five bucks. Absolutely delicious at BB Wolf's. We're going in. It's all woolly in my mouth. Here's our seating. Not too bad for walking right up, and we got right in. They have three different menus. You get an icy and a collectible cup, some drinks, more drinks, appetizers. Meat, the meteor meatloaf. There's a meteor shower going on. Meteors are crashing everywhere. So I think the only thing we're gonna eat, not like it's the only thing, is this appetizer. It's got bruschetta, onion rings, chips and queso, quesadilla back there with chicken, and ribs. This is more than enough for a meal for the two of us. And this is just an appetizer on the menu. I know it's gonna sound impossible because this is a themed restaurant, but this bruschetta is some of the best I've ever had. It's delicious. One rib left. The ribs are good. They're very tender. The sauce is very, very tangy. It's not very sweet. It's more tangy, I think. Um, fall off the bone. More meteors. They have a full-size bar here, too. Also being attacked. Woolly Mammoth. About to eat it. Oh, no! We actually can't finish all of this. But it was very good. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. I'm going to take a little spin around in here and show you the other dinos. We're going in the ice cave. Poor, cold, woolly mammoth baby. Look at this. T-Rex stuck in the ice. I like the men's room as a He-Rex. The women's room is a She-Rex. Back into the ice room. This looks like Hoth. We've made it into this dark room. It's like a plant eater up here. Whoa. That is so cool. I'm not even gonna try to say the name of this guy. This is called the Sequoia Room, by the way, not the Darker Room. <laughs> That's just the Chiefsy's name. Whoa! <laughs> the lights are back on. Wow. That looks like the size of the wasp that was outside my door this week. <laughs> Triceratops? And a Stegosaurus back there? Doing my best not to film people eating their food. Now we're gonna get ready to head out of here. We've got our T-Rex here. And right behind this T-Rex is this pterodactyl swooping in, looking for nachos. What do you think? Oh, he's giving me like the peace sign. Or maybe that's the T-Rex middle finger, I don't know. It's one of the two, we'll go with peace sign. And once again, over this way is where we were sitting. This is the bar area. Look at this shirt, Takasaurus. I'll be back. Well, why so delicious? Every day is arm day. T-Rex things. All right, we're moving on from T-Rex. It was fun, food was pretty good. Atmosphere is really cool for little kids especially. I'm gonna head into the Lego store. It's been a minute since we've been here. Star Wars, the Tana 4. Look at that. That's really cool. They have Disney themed Legos here. Still got the castle. 350. It's exclusive. There's a parent yelling at a kid in the background. Look at this little princess castle. But this is this castle in the box for 350, what it looks like. It is awesome. Lego Vader. Oh yeah, this little light thing is working. And the saber's lit up. Lego Woody and Buzz. 
Lego Hulk, he's been here for years. He is still awesome. Got more Star Wars ships over here. Lots of Star Wars Legos. They've got the huge Millennium Falcon, 800 bucks. It's the box there, the ultimate collection. They do have the Steamboat Willie Lego, 751 pieces, 90 bucks. One per person. I love the ship in the bottle, by the way. It's 70 bucks. It's very hard to find, as the tag actually says. Um, and then the Saturn V, I love that as well. They have the Flintstones Lego. This is what Steamboat Willie looks like made. This is pretty awesome too. 10,000 pieces. Although Mary says like, oh, they have this and they have this. And how many Lego things have you put together recently? Here's some more models made. I like it. We need to renew our Lego passes. Check out Snoke. We have a different uh, Vader being assembled Lego set from way back when. This is cool. Fantastic Beasts from Harry Potter. They have the castle. We have a bunch of these pieces. Disassembled right now, but we have the older sets. And a couple of the pieces went MIA when we had family over and we kind of took stuff apart. They have a bunch of Overwatch Legos, but then they have all the Avengers sets over here. Spider-Man Far From Home. These are what the Overwatch Legos look like. And then we've got the Endgame Legos. Iron Man. The Ultimate Quinjet. War Machine Buster. We'll go into World of Disney. Peep out what they have. Disney 2019 merchandise. They have spirit sweaters for dogs now. And cats, I guess, unless, well, it's probably a small dog. And shoe toys. Oh, these are cool. It's like my sport coat. We can brush them up or brush them down. Wow, this is perfect for the two of us. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're the salty one. <laughs> these are adult socks. Looks like one pair of socks for 17 bucks. All of these Disney food clothing items. And ears, ears, ears. Here's another one. Sequins fold up or down. Oh, look at that. If you do it down, it's like a Mickey Mouse cupcake. And if you do it up, uh, ta-da. Uh, that's cool. Hats, ears. Look at this spirit sweater. Ta-da! Look at these It's a Small World bags. Star Wars hats. We've entered into the Star Wars land. There's not a lot of new Star Wars stuff that we haven't seen in this store, but it's right next to the Avenger stuff. Disney just printing their own money between Star Wars and Marvel. And Indiana Jones. That painting is cool. Dude! This is ridiculous. Look, he's got a tail. You get the jacket too. The jacket has a tail too. Look at like multiple tails. This hat's 28 bucks. This is for little kids. Mary is Groot. Reaching into fairy tales. <laughs> My favorite redhead. I really like the renovations to this place. It's much more open now. So many crying babies. I don't know if Jess ever cried as much. I think she was very much more subdued. When you were around. Maybe it's rose-colored glasses now. It is. <laughs> Stitch. Back to spitting. I hate that. We're gonna go into the co-op. It's interesting. They have a Dapper Day pop-up inside here today. I think Dapper Day jumped the shark when it really started to become more of an actual thing at Disney instead of a fan-driven event. At the Disney dress shop, I love this outfit. I don't know if you would ever wear it though, but it, would you think so? It's not my color scheme, but um, it's my style. I love it. I love it. They also have the tiki 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 room. Parasols. I'm not really kind of 
embracing or selling the Dapper Day experience now. Well, this is sold as like a whole outfit, so you don't just piece it together. The grand total, $168. Not bad. Not for something like this. this is pretty you can accessorize. They have the Her Universe Captain Marvel dress here too. It's a buck twenty-nine. That's cool. That's awesome. Oh my Amazing. God. Amazing. Our favorite ride. Everyone's favorite ride. We walked in once upon a toy. There's really not much left at all in there. I'm gonna take a look in Star Wars Trading Post, see if they've got anything new. They have like this men's muscle hooded shirt. Rebel. That's pretty cool. Or maybe it's women's. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's women's. They have extra small. There's not a whole lot in this store. It's kind of just like a duplicate of the other Galactic Outpost at this point. I gotta be honest too, it's very musty smelling in there. It smells like old hotel. We're gonna walk past Rainforest Cafe. And take the bridge and head back over towards the Orange Garage. That water is very murky. And the former characters in flight branded balloon in flight over here now. If you guys are interested in this, there are always tickets on Groupon for this at like half price. Passing by Boathouse. They have the Amphicars out here, not currently launching. That looks like a giant Lego machine out there, but whatever. And we're coming up past the Edison, Maria and Enzo's, and the pizza place. And down to the left is Enzo's Hideaway. Remember the good old days when Forrest Gump's boat, Jenny, was over here? Outside of Planet Hollywood? It's just gone. Mysterioso disappeared. Well, Disney Springs has gotten significantly more crowded since we've started here today. It's our cue to get out of here. We do have an Italian ice place over my shoulder that we wanted to stop at, but uh, they must have one person working and they're gone for like lunch break. They'll be back 35 minutes from now, which I'll be long gone for that Italian ice. That dream has been shattered. All right, Disney Springs and ominous Avengers music. We're getting out of here. Thanks so very much for coming along with us. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.